It's a rare, I'm struggling to find clovers on Ranger. <laughs> yeah. I mean, usually you have... Yeah. Fair enough. Hey, you're bad. I don't know. I haven't had trouble finding the gem box yet. But without gem box, fighting through the sustain is tough. If you get long enough battle rage duration, you can maybe rely on your double axe to scale high enough, but... We'd also definitely recommend the... What is the subclass called? This subclass? I think this is the best subclass on Berserker by a mile. The 10% DR and then also extending your battle rage so that all the DR that you're stacking on the armors is even more relevant is just absurd. And then you just rely on either your chain whip scaling or your double axe scaling to have enough damage to win the fight. Also makes cheese goob really good. Yeah, it does make cheese goob better if that's something that you're into. The more max HP, the more you can heal up to full during your damage reduction period. This comfort's nice too. Yeah, anything with healing reduction is really big. I don't know about the start. <laughs> this should be in the coffin. Well, we fight another Reaper. <laughs> Love to see it. I'm gonna say that that's still important. <laughs> It's a lot less important against rangers than it was. <laughs> Take this for a bunch of armor. More sustain. Um... <laughs> Decent alchemist run earlier. <laughs> Discovered how much incidental poison resist there is now. Yeah, it's messed up. It's messed up. What is it, the Berserker gloves randomly have 10% poison resist? A bunch of the subclasses randomly purify debuffs. Pan here. Casually. Yeah, you just have uh, green gems lying around sometimes when you don't have enough amethysts. Mm -hmm. Take the damage for now. Um. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it gets really bad at, like, diamond or high plat when people start buying gem boxes more. Cauldron's a cute bridge from Pandem to Potions, though. Yeah, I guess in that context it's interesting. I don't know, the food synergy on it just seems so meaningless. Heal for 10, gain 3 mana that you're probably not using, or 2 heat in your potion build. <laughs> like... 
<laughs> I don't know. It's such a weird item. Basically just that you have random food stuff anyway, you can heal or speed a bit more while the pan still matters. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, that combined with it being gigantic made me a lot lower on it after playing with it a game than I was on first read. Nice. Econ Gaming. Yeah, when I saw reverse in the patch notes, I immediately opened up the items menu to see what it did, and was also disappointed. I got real hype when I saw the card name. Um... Can't afford to be a little inefficient with... Oops. With the space. To meet a single human being who wasn't disappointed in reverse. <sighs> it feels like one of those things where there was an idea for it. They had the name, they made the art. And then they tested it, and it was busted, so they had to change it. That would be my guess, but I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to swap these. Whoops. Okay, what does this thing do? 5% chance for each luck to protect poison on the opponent from being cleansed. Start a battle, gain 4 luck and 30 max health for each pet. Every 2 seconds, inflict 2 poison. Feels like if they made it reset card count back to 1. Uh. Yeah, probably. I guess that would be a fix. So it's good with poison goob. We do have two mushrooms. It's a fast trigger. I don't know, maybe we'll find a goobert. Thirty max health for each pet. We don't need the stam though. I'll take this. If I'm doing poison goob stuff, I guess I don't care about pestilence. That gives me an instant proc on stone skin. I don't have any holy items, right? I don't want dragons. 
Does it want dragons? I feel like it wants poison goob and maybe jinx. Speaking of jinx. I mean, not awful. Not corrupted armor. Need my Goobert. Thank you. I'll figure out what it's actually doing next turn. <laughs> It's fine. Now we have a comp. Now we have a comp. Okay. This is the new class. This is the new Reaper subclass. There are two new classes. How does this work? If we put Scythe here, then we can go Snake here. Jinx here. Or Jinx here. Wait, that still doesn't go on the snake. Um. Yes, it is fair, wholesome poison. Don't recognize half these items. There's only one new item on my board. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Just vamp potion. You don't need to know about it. Are they on debuffless Darksaber? Debuffless Manaless Darksaber? Fire. Mm. 
I kind of want to find amethysts. Bronze do be like that. Bronze do be like that. More crystal. Bloodthorn! Regenless Bloodthorn. And there's no such thing as a pyromancer? Yeah, then there was a big patch a couple days ago. Get with the times, old man. May delete a few items off enemy boards in bronze. Oh, maybe. That would make sense. Given the types of bad boards you tend to see at bronze. Like, it's weird that someone would know how to make a Bloodthorn, but not have any synergy for it. Also see lots of empty space. I mean... <laughs> I feel like you're trying to say something about my board. <laughs> Are you implying something? Occasionally by the... I mean, the, the deck of many things in this game. I buy it occasionally. Used to buy it more with Bloodthorn. I haven't been playing a whole lot of Reaper, though. This is only my second Reaper game on this patch. Um, mana's not doing anything. Mana would do something now. I'm not a Reaper, I'm a Venomancer. True. Obvious slot there. Sure. We could double scythe here. That fills my board. <laughs> Look, does it just not offer the items that you want to buy? And if you don't have items, you might as well buy space. You want this too? Um, let's grab the orb now.
Not have gem slots again? Oh my god. Guess we'll make the cap. Take the poison resist. I've got what? 20, 35, 50. Eh. I got poison cube. What do I need poison resist for? The crown over the armor for aesthetics. Looks a little off. I also lose mana or value. More healing reduction. I won't make another discomfort. This is what? 1530. Uh, 55 or 50. 70, 85, plus 30. Plenty of healing reduction now. I just want more books at this point. It's not a corrupted crystal. Yeah, I know. There's not really a reason to make another discomfort. We've already got capped uh, healing reduction, so we might as well just keep the corrupted crystals for armor generation. Oh, right. Uh, I meant to say the opposite if I did say I was going to make another one. No. Ugh. Yeah, it's really just not. It's not that much damage. We're somewhat tanky, but not even really that tanky. How much armor do we gain? Three hundred ish. Oops. Not a big deal. Yeah, that one can go above the armor. Last round already. Is, is tied to applying the poisons when people randomly resist poison for free with the items they're making anyways, then it blocks both armor and the damage. Yeah. Bit of an issue. If you're in the poison bomb comp too and playing upgraded corrupted flasks, you have the same issue where you're healing less and dealing less burst damage. If they resist the poison, 